Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new, very relaxed vlog, as you can tell. Um, it's gonna be another at-home vlog, and if you are wondering why there have been so many vlogs lately, as opposed to kind of normal sit-down videos, it's because the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit is looming so much closer, and it's gonna be next week, hint, hint, and I'm kind of saving all of my epic styling videos for then, so I hope you're excited for that. And I'm also really loving that you guys are loving the at-home vlogs, so that's what today's video is gonna be. Um, I don't know whether it's gonna be one day or two days, but we're just gonna do some nice things together. So over the next couple of days um, on my to-do list, I want to do a lot of nice cooking. I've been really getting back into doing lots more cooking, um, baking at this time of year especially. I made some cinnamon and um, carrot cake swirls at the weekend and they went down an absolute treat. I will try and pop the video clip on the screen here. It was a Thermomix recipe um, but I think you can probably tailor it to not be a Thermomix recipe so I'll leave that link down below. Uh, and then I've also been making my carrot and courgette bread. I made some banana bread recently so yeah I'm just really getting into baking. I feel like when it's gloomy and rainy outside that is what I want to be doing. But uh, in this video I have got a little bit more cooking to share with you but also I know that you guys are gonna be really excited to see this I have got my big autumn summer to autumn wardrobe changeover as you might be able to guess from the roll neck that I'm wearing and the ton of coats on the rail behind me it is, it is full-on into the autumn wardrobe season and I still have summer dresses um, loads of bikinis and really light strappy tops taking up room in my wardrobe and I just need them to be gone I need to clear them out put them up in the loft decide what I'm gonna keep what I'm not gonna keep um, and then bring my autumn things down from the loft so that's coats jumpers, cashmere knits, things like that from last year and also decide which of last year's things I want to keep and which I want to get rid of. I feel like last year was the first year that I really started to have really really good investment pieces so I'm looking forward to bringing down beautiful coats from Club Monaco, a few different coats and knitwears from Reese and things like that. So I don't think I'll be getting rid of too much but at the same time I want to be quite strict on myself having a bit of a one in one out policy because I just don't have room for absolutely everything. And then as well as getting my wardrobe ready for the new season, I also wanted to make a few very small changes in the house um, just to kind of get rid of things which are overly spring and summery and make them a little bit more seasonally appropriate but still very much my style. So part of this video is going to be really kindly sponsored by Desenio and I'm sure many of you already have heard of Desenio. I've worked with them in the past. The pictures um, on the wall that we have downstairs in the lounge are from Desenio. They are basically a website that have hundreds if not thousands of prints and they're super affordable really easy to order you can pick the frame that matches the print um, the right size for example they have like oak frames black frames copper frames which look like rose gold as I said I've used them in the past and I'll be unboxing an order from them in today's video and basically replacing some of the prints we've got downstairs which are a little bit spring summery for something a bit more autumnal and I'd also had a few other prints from Desenio on my wish list for a long time for our office so you guys have been asking a lot um, for updates about the gatehouse and when we're moving well I'm sorry if any wires got crossed but Charlie and I are not moving we're not leaving this place. This is our home. This is our little home in Clapham, southwest London. And the place that we purchased in Chiswick is basically going to be our office for the next few months and years because our long-term plan in maybe three or four years is to move out of London to somewhere maybe an hour or a couple of hours out of London and we're always going to want a kind of crash pad like somewhere that will be our little place in London that we can stay when we've got meetings and things like that. Uh, so it's an investment property and in the meantime we're going to be using it as an office. We didn't necessarily need to buy it so soon but we just said okay well we want to and sorry this bit of hair is really annoying me. Um, yeah, we didn't really need to buy it when we did, but we just happened to find the perfect property at a time when the housing market was in a fairly good place for buying because of the dreaded Brexit. So that's why we have the gatehouse and we will be doing a little bit more renovation and kind of making it more into an office over the next few weeks. But that was a big digression. Basically, I ordered a really cool print for the lounge there and also for the room that's going to be our filming room. So that will be coming in another video. I will show you those prints when I'm unboxing them 
shortly. Um, but first of all, a little bit more normal for this channel, I'm going to do a quick Topshop unboxing because I just had a delivery arrive and I would like to share it with you. So the first thing in my Topshop order is this jumper dress. This was um, £45 and I got it in size extra small. It is just a plain brown jumper dress. It's a really lovely, very kind of neutral brown shade, a very biscuity kind of brown which I think is going to suit all different skin tones. High on the collar, you've got a turtleneck so you can wear a nice thermal underneath it. And then I think this is probably going to go to just below the knees. I find jumper dresses just super cosy, super comfortable if you're going out for a Sunday roast or you're going to the pub or just going to be hanging out with your family, then jumper dresses are such a nice comfortable thing to wear. And you can also dress them up with some nice gold jewellery as well. So big fan of jumper dresses. You may have seen on my Instagram stories that I picked up a nude coloured faux fur coat, but after much consideration I decided that it was too similar to the one that I had last year so I actually have returned that coat and instead because I love to be cozy and faux fur coats are just an absolute dream I chose this one instead so as you can see it's very dark for me it's like a brownie mahogany mixed with almost black faux fur fibers this was 120 so much more expensive than um, or quite a high price point for Topshop let's say but this is gonna be super duper warm it's gonna be great for you know looking a little bit more glam on country walks if you've got a nice frosty morning and you don't need to wear a wax jacket or a waterproof or anything like that super glam um at this time of year in england there are a lot of afternoons where you just kind of walk across the road to the local village pub and you maybe have drinks or you might have um i don't know a glass of wine and there's lots of cozy goings on at this time of year so i felt like this would be absolutely perfect for that uh charlie's mum has something quite similar and she gets it out every single year and it always looks so stylish with a high-waisted with a roll neck um and some gold jewelry some nice stamen earrings so inspired by charlie's mum kind of that's my next item <laughs> so not something i'd usually show you but i also picked up a little bralette because i loved the color of this i mentioned in my autumn trends video that pistachio is going to be a huge on trend colour this season and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to wear it but I chose this little bralette. I love it when they're kind of like a um, crop top as well as being a lightly padded brassiere. But then I also chose this pyjama set in this pistachio colour as well. Sorry if the camera's going a bit funny. The lighting outside is pretty much dark <laughs> um, even though it's 10 o'clock in the morning so this is almost like a crinkle cut it's not a super smooth um, satin it's got like I really don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but it's almost a little bit textured you've got some white piping around the collar detail so I think that's gonna be a really lovely flattering shade against the skin long sleeve as well which I absolutely love because I very much like being cozy in bed and lounging around the house at this time of year and the matching bottoms they have got a satin bow to tie them in together and then you've got the same white piping down at the bottoms here I think these will look really luxurious even though they were only 18 pounds for the bottom 16 pounds for the top so just over £30 for the matching set and I honestly think that they look very much like a silk pyjama set. They look a little bit like Olivia Van Hull, which is over two, if not £300 for a pyjama set. And because I thought that set was so fabulous, I also got the pink version, pretty much exactly the same, except this one is three quarter sleeve, black trim, and um, it's pink, but I also got the long bottoms for those as well. I think you could also get shorts but I much prefer to have all my legs covered at this time of year. Here we have the bottoms again with the black trim down at the very bottom and they even have little pockets so very pleased with my new pyjama purchases. And then finally I actually picked up these in a recent Topshop order. They are pink wide-legged um, just cozy bottoms and I love them so much that I picked up the oatmeal colour as well. These are pretty much exactly the same but in oatmeal rather than pink and then these are tight at the bottom whereas the ones I'm wearing now are baggy at the bottom. They do have little pockets but not that I really use them and at this time of year working from home I wear lounge wear pretty much on my bottom half every single day. So these are going to be just amazing for that and also around Christmas when you've got family over you don't want to be wearing your um, pyjamas around the house in the mornings but well, maybe you do, it's up to you. <laughs> um, but I like to have something a little bit more substantial on that I can nip across the road or whatever 
nip the dogs out if I need to and not be quite so sleep wearish. So those are going to be perfect for this time of year. Okay, I did also buy a selection of pink knickers because they were three for two and Topshop have some really good seamless ones, but you guys don't need to know all of those details. So I'm going to have a quick try on now. Um, I will probably will have inserted the try on clips on what you've just seen. But without further ado, I'm probably going to go downstairs now and just do a little bit of work while I still have some energy from my coffee, get a few emails done, do a bit of editing. What is on my to-do list today? I've got to do a voiceover for a collaboration I'm doing for the Sofitel. If you saw my Paris vlog, I'm doing a video for them, so I've got to do a voiceover. Um, pack my bag for a shoot tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, I just have a ton of emails that need doing. So that's my plan. I'm going to go downstairs, kiss the boys, and then I will also do my Desenio unboxing and show you what a difference it can make to the room to have a new set of prints on the wall. So that's the plan for today. Let's get going. Puppy dogs in prime position. Dexy is... He looks like that picture of Simba, you know, on Rafiki's tree. That's what I always think he looks like when he lies in this position. And then my chicken is up on his perch. Oh, has it been a tough day, my nugget? Clearly. So these are our existing Desenio prints. And I think it was probably maybe two years ago that we ordered these and I still absolutely adore them, don't get me wrong, and they will be repurposed in some way. I'm not sure what yet, but in order to update our home for autumn, I thought it'd be nice to just switch up the actual posters within them. Um, we also recently I say we, Charlie did this, um, dried out some hydrangeas from the garden. They were in this little corner here. If you watched any of my vlogs during the summer, you probably will have seen them, or my funny Instagram stories when Dexter used to hide underneath them. Such a baby. But um, yeah, Charlie dried them out, and I think they look really lovely. This is just one bunch. We have some in the kitchen as well. And then also on this chest of drawers, we've got some nice family pictures. Charlie with his Dada at Twickenham. And then we've got a little sausage dog, which Charlie's mum and dad got for us um, when they were doing a nice little country weekend. Got some candles. Um, I really need to kind of restyle this area. This vase, um, I actually did work experience with this potter when I was about 16. Her name's Mary Rose Young. She's based in the Forest of Dean and she does really cool wacky styles of um, pottery. Now we've got a nice candle. This is the replica by the fireplace candle and this is such a lovely autumnal scent. Um, and then we've just got some nice copper lighting like the lamp here but yeah so this is the wall that we're going to be updating and this is the box of the new prints and new frames i'm going to be keeping the frames um that we have up behind me but um oh done something strange to my hair yeah i'm going to keep those frames and literally just swap the prints but the frames that are in here I will be keeping for the gatehouse office. I will leave every single print um, and everything that I got down below in the description box. So if you would like to shop any of them to update your own home, then you can do so. And also I have a discount code, which is Mumbler, as in uh, Fashion Mumbler, M-U-M-B-L-R. And if you apply that at the checkout, you will get 30% off. It does, however, exclude frames and the hand-picked selection, but all the lovely prints that I have here, you can get with 30% off, which is amazing. I would highly recommend checking out their gallery wall section. If you need a little bit of inspo on how to create a really nice wall, then they have I don't even know how many, they have so many pictures of um, like room setups with gallery walls already done so you can literally click add to basket and you can get the whole gallery wall at a click of a button, that's how I did this one but this time I was a little bit more selective and I really chose ones which I wanted. So anyway, without further ado, let me show you what is inside the box. Okay, so I've just unrolled my prints. It is mostly these smaller ones that I'm putting up on the wall. So I ordered lots of these, um, they're kind of like line drawings of more autumnal style flowers. 
So I can't remember the names of them off the top of my head, but this one um, is a little bit like a plant slash mushroom. Then we've got this uh, leaf pattern. Uh, we've got some dried flowers, which I thought would team in really nicely considering we've got the dried hydrangeas. I think I've actually got too many here. I may have got a little carried away, but we can do some mixing and matching. Another autumnal floral print. Another <laughs> autumnal floral print. This is like a flower that's got a little bit frostbitten. Um, Oh, and then I also got a couple of really nice quotes for the dressing area in the office. This one says, always dress like it's the best day of your life. And then I picked up the copper frame. I think when I purchased those last time, I didn't know that they had copper frames, which is almost like rose gold. And then when I went to visit Freddie, uh, I saw that she had them and she had some really nice prints as well from Desenia in the copper frames. So Freddie, thank you for the inspo. Uh, and then I have another quote. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change because that for me is, um, how I live pretty much if you think of positive things it attracts positive energy to you and I'm all my camera battery just died so I'm just gonna continue on my phone for a few moments while the battery recovers as I was saying um yeah this is a quote that I like to live by so that will find a perfect place in the house what I'm gonna do is lie out all these posters um so I've got two of the larger frames to fill. I think this one is particularly fab for an autumnal switchover. And then I just adore these really trendy line paintings. And this one looks like, oh, it's a little bit cheeky. This one looks like it's on some kind of fabric and I thought it'd be really nice color wise to match in with the others. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna take them down, do some switching, and we can always play around and see what works and see what works best. <laughs> have it the finished updated gallery wall in the lounge it's got a little dark outside now so apologies about the reflections in the lights but I think this has just made such a big difference I'm going to show you from a little bit further away it really is kind of the first thing you see when you walk into the lounge excuse the sofa looking all messy and it makes such an impact on this wall so just for the cost of a few extra posters it's been a really nice way of um, updating the living room for autumn as you can see I've gone for quite neutral colors which all blend in together really nicely and even when it's spring and summer and winter I I feel like these will still be really perfect but with the dried flowers I thought it was just a little bit more autumnal. This is obviously a little bit more on trend at the moment this kind of line drawing but if I decide in a few months that I don't love it anymore then I can always make a switch. I've still got a few posters down here as you saw earlier. We've kept this little breathe poster that was here from before. I might change it, but I quite like the simplicity of that one. Love these simple line drawings. Love the wildflowers, the dried flowers, and then the quote up there as well. I think it's really nice to mix up um, real pictures. Like these are obviously photos with sketches, with text. I think it's just a really nice combination. So that is the gallery wall complete. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you have any prints in your home that you think 
you my update for autumn um, and what do you think to my selections as I said I'll leave them all linked down below in case I have inspired you to pick any up and you have until um, so what day is it today Tuesday today you've got until Thursday the 17th at midnight to save 30% with the code mumbler so it's off um, posters so not handpicked and not the frames but yeah a really nice way of saving a bit of money if you are thinking of getting an entirely new gallery wall or a statement poster or um, replacing some posters in your home like I have done. I will do another vlog um, when we are in the gatehouse properly showing you where I put the Prada Martha sign and uh, where I put the ones which I bought specifically for the dressing rooms but yeah I'm gonna save that for another vlog because I'm getting peckish it is time to make myself some lunch and then hopefully I'll have a burst of energy so I can do the big wardrobe changeover let's do it look how beautiful you are tell everybody what you've been doing for the past couple of days it's been a little while since I was on the vlog you see well I've been doing very important tasks like sleeping and eating and kissing my mummy and cleaning my pores. I clean my pores on a daily basis. They're so pretty, aren't they? Okay, I've had my lunch, my pasta with butter and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now I'm about to head up into the loft. So if you watched my vlog um, either last Tuesday or the Tuesday before, I'm losing track, um, you would have seen at the end of that vlog, it was called my getting the house garden and wardrobe ready for autumn. At the end of that vlog, I got my wardrobe stripped of all the summer things. Sometimes in the past I've done everything in one day, I've taken summer out and put autumn in, but I was just in a really productive mood that Sunday afternoon, um, and I took out all of my super summery things, like my dresses and um, little blouses and things, which are just not gonna be appropriate for October onwards. But then I did also keep a little edit free. I'm, I keep looking down because Dex is up here and I really don't want either of them going for a tinkle. Are you all right there, my chicken nugget? You look like a little beetle. You look like a little beetle. You sniffing mummy's clothes. These are the piles of clothes I've got ready for tomorrow's shoot and my two glamorous assistants. Oh, I just feel like you're looking for trouble, you two. Don't you dare do anything naughty. They will now literally battle like that for about 20 minutes until they get tired and then they will charge around and then collapse on the sofa. That is a day in the life of a Dexy. Um, but while the boys battle, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I will leave that vlog with that um, clip in. You can scoot to the end of the video because um, that is when I take all of my summer and spring stuff out of the wardrobe and I clear loads of space for my autumn winter things. Obviously, um, most of my autumn winter wardrobe will consist of pieces that I already own and they are all up in storage in the loft. I store my things in suitcases and these big like Ikea bags or Primark Zippy bags. So now I have the fun task of getting them down, deciding if I want to sell anything, if there's anything that's no longer my style, um, sending anything to dry cleaners that needs dry cleaning, mending anything, steaming anything, and just generally putting stuff back in the wardrobe. This helps me take stock of what I've got, um, get excited again. It's like shopping your own wardrobe. You don't have to spend any money. You don't have to buy anything new, but you can have a whole new wardrobe when you do this. So let's go up to the loft. I'll take you with me bit of a mess up there there's a lot of stuff up there but it's where all of my autumn winter clothing is currently stored charlie is also doing a clear out hence why loads of his clothes right here but this is our loft it comes down from the ceiling it always looks a little bit scary but let's go
As you can see, we have a lot of suitcases. We travel a lot. Um, we get gifted quite a few suitcases. I've bought quite a few suitcases um, and they are really good for storage. I happen to know that my summer clothes are in here. My summer holiday edit is in here. Um, I have a feeling there might be something that I need in this one. Nope, that's summer shoes. Okay, this looks like faux fur. Right, this looks promising. I've managed to locate um, six massive bags slash cases, which I believe contain my autumn winter clothing. There are also two more massive suitcases up here that say Josie winter on them. Um, and one of them I've written like Jaeger coat, thermals, etc. So I think that is like deepest, darkest winter. So I'm gonna start with this selection here, get it down from the loft, sort this, and then if I have any energy left, I'll do the winter bags. But for now, I think this is a good place to start. <laughs> Right, so I'm back down from the loft and I'm rather mortified to show you this, but this is what we are now dealing with. Um, because I'm in the house by myself today, I didn't have Charlie to pass the boxes or bags down to, so I basically thought, you know what, it's all coats and knitwear, nothing's going to damage the floor or the walls, so I just chucked it all down. <laughs> Literally opened the bags and chucked it all down. On the floor behind me, it was a success. Everything is now just in a giant heap and the walls and the floor are still intact. Wouldn't recommend trying that at home. But, so now I have the ginormous task of going through all of these pieces. And as I said, deciding if I'm keeping them, if I'm donating them, if I'm gonna sell them, if they need cleaning, etc., etc. So I'm gonna stick on some YouTube videos and get started. Roll the hyperlapse. If you guys like this video, if you like the beauty roundups and you want me to Okay, a little update. So I've managed to clear mostly the pile on the floor. Um, as you can see, it's just pretty much boots to go through next. I have managed already, and the season and new stuff hasn't even started yet, to fill this section of my wardrobe. It is totally rammed, filled with coats. I do not need any new coats this year. I don't. But this is, this is the trouble. If I was a normal shopper, I just, I would stop here. But because my job is showing you new things and I work with a lot of retailers, inevitably there are going to be a lot of new coats coming in to my life this year. Um, so I'm going to try to do a one in one out system because it's ridiculous, but I've already got rid of so many. I've even gotten rid of ones which I loved last year so much just because I just can't have this many things. As you can see they are very tightly packed in here, all my coats from last year. You'll probably recognise so many of these, the River Island one with the faux fur, um, my LK Bennett, my Reese Lawson coat, the best coat 
ever. Um, yeah, and so many more. This black hold all down here is filled with things which I'm going to give to my mum. She lets her friends have a rummage through to see if they would like to buy anything or like clothes swap anything and then the money goes to charity or um, if there are any super premium ones then she might list them on eBay. So yeah and then also this arrived these are new things from ted baker i'm having my meet up with them in a couple of days time so there's a new outfit in here and i believe a new coat so shall we do a little unboxing and a little ted baker try on Okay, so since I started steaming, it has gone from being really beautiful and sunny outside to absolutely pouring with rain. Um, so if you can hear the rain in the background, that's why. But I've just tried on the Ted Baker dress. As you can see, the colour is just stunning. It's this burgundy oxblood. The silhouette is my absolute dream. It is a fit and flare. Um, it even has little pockets in it, which is gorgeous. I love the fact that the top is knitted and it's even got little fluted sleeves. It's got little bow detail on the sleeves. And then it's also got um, this like pie crust frill detail on the collar. And then you've got the satin waistband and then this gorgeous voluminous skirt. So this is absolutely stunning. And then you probably can't see what I've got on um, these gorgeous little shoes which I'll be wearing to my meetup on Thursday. I'm so excited for that. And as for outerwear, they have sent me to wear this stunning coat. This is actually a really nice classic coat. It's in a beautiful neutral color. This tan, almost, it really kind of looks like a lion outfit. Um, the color, and then you've got this deep faux fur on the neckline and a tie around the waist, pockets of course, that is just absolutely gorgeous. The lighting was a little bit blue by the window, um, but you can see the colour of it a bit more realistically here. It's almost like a grey brown, which I love. Um, these tags you are obviously meant to take off, I'll take mine off in a second. This faux fur is such high quality, um, and I get asked quite a lot how I do these knots, so I'm going to show you. I probably won't be able to do it as nicely as that now, but so basically I just cross it over and do like a normal knot, that is just the typical knot, and then whichever side is longer, I pull that underneath as though I'm about to do it again, but I don't pull it all the way through, so there's like a loop at the top, and then I'll normally just tighten it, um, and that is how I like to do up my coats, and then when I need to take it off, I can just pull one of the toggles and voila, so you don't have to faff around with untying. I'm sorry about the awful lighting now, it's literally gone pitch black outside. Um, so yeah, we're done. we've done quite well with the preparing the wardrobe for winter. Um, I feel like there's still quite a lot more up in the loft, like more trousers and shoes and jumpers and things. So I'm gonna just have a general tidy up and then I'm gonna go up again and see what else I can find. I'm sorry this video feels really stop starty and um, in a bit of a higgledy piggledy mess, but I am trying to just do a million things at once today. But I'm trying to do a million things at once today, all while also sorting out my wardrobe. I've just been like packing um, bags down there and rails up there full of things to shoot with Kat tomorrow while also clearing out this room. But now I have an empty bag, which means I can fill it with more summer things to clear a little bit more space because autumn winter things are bulkier than summer, so they're already really filling up my wardrobe. So I'm gonna go through the drawers behind me and pull out um, things like swimwear, gym wear and miscellaneous items that I will not be needing until next summer. Okay darlings, I have done about <laughs> as much sorting as I can possibly manage in one day. I feel a lot better having cleared out a few drawers and I now have, sorry about the background noise, I've got the dishwasher going. 
washing machine even. Um, I've got a couple of bags full of bikinis and things that I'm not going to need for a good few months now waiting to go up to the loft when Charlie gets home because they are too heavy for me to do by myself. Um, if you're going to do a big wardrobe turnaround like this, I would definitely recommend doing it in two parts like I did because I don't think I could have done any more than I did today. But anyway, I thought I would end this vlog with a recipe, a really nice cozy autumnal one to go with today's chilled at home vibes. And at the weekend, I made a carrot and courgette loaf of bread and I've been craving that with a really nice root vegetable soup. So, because I also made and it was an epic fail um a pumpkin risotto the weekend i we couldn't even eat it because it was such a fail i basically left the rice in the thermomix while we went to see the joker in the cinema and then by the time we came home it was just like stodge there was no physical rice left it was all just a mush so i wasted half a pumpkin on that um it was only this big but I do have the other half of the pumpkin from my risotto fail, which I'm now gonna make a soup with. So I think I'm gonna do pumpkin and ginger soup. <laughs> Should be nice and easy, so let's do it. So it doesn't look terribly exciting, but I'm gonna be popping in my pumpkin flesh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 14 minutes left on the washing machine. Um, some carrots that we have left in the fridge, some ginger, sweet potato, and then the recipe also called for cashew nuts but we don't have any left, so I'm gonna put in some peanuts um, just in case instead. And then there's also oil and water. So let's get started. And there we have it. Yesterday's leftover pumpkin is today's pumpkin soup. Looks and smells delicious. And I've just popped on um, some of these roasted pumpkin seeds that I also made over the weekend. So these are just seeds from the inside of when I originally carved the pumpkin. And they've got paprika and a little bit of cumin on them as well as some oil roasted in the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees my carrot and courgette loaf, which I've already started to nibble on because it is so tasty. And that is my dinner for the day.